Hi guys, it's me, Controller, and welcome back to Minecraft. Today we are using the Stargate mod for Minecraft 1.4.7, and this mod, I kind of get the feeling it's from some sort of TV show, uh, but I have never heard of it, nor seen it. So, if you have seen it before, go ahead and leave a comment, tell me what this show's about, because it sounds awesome, uh, but I will be showing you the mod. So, as you could probably see behind me, we have this awesome portal, uh, with some really awesome features, the main one being... It's a circle. Sounds obvious, but it's mind-blowing when you think there's a circle in Minecraft. Kind of a little bit weird. So this circle, it has these weird inscriptions, uh, like code things around the edge, and then it has some other lights. And the main thing is kind of this blue in the middle, kind of reminds me of the Aether mod, the blue. Uh, but if you up, go up close, you can see all these ripple effects. It's absolutely awesome. I love it. It's just amazing. I'm lost for words. It's that good. So, what you probably can tell from this mod is this is a Stargate, so kind of like a portal. If I go ahead and jump through, boom, we're somewhere else. I mean, it's really cool. Oh, we are now at the top of one of our extreme hills. So, if I go ahead and jump back through from here, it's not going to work. Because that's because you can only go through it where the lights are. So, I discovered this the hard way. I kept trying to jump through, and I'm like, what's going on? Couldn't understand it. But if you go through from this side, nothing will happen. If you go through from this side, boom. You're back in your house. Looks really cool. actually love that uh, feature because it kind of means that noobs get confused, which is kind of awesome because obviously you like being able to laugh at people who can't do anything properly. So let's just head back through to here inside my house before everyone starts getting dizzy and wondering what's going on and out of my make makeshift door. So there are loads of crafting recipes for this. We've got a Stargate base, Stargate ring block, Stargate chevron block, and Stargate controller. And they are all equally confusing. To get one thing, you need to craft two other things, and so on, so on, so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flash them all up on the screen for you to see right now. And I hope that was useful for you. If you're really skillful, you could have probably paused the video there and used it. But I don't want to take up half an hour of this video uh, just with crafting recipes. So over here, we have another portal. And I'm just going to go ahead and destroy it. And this is kind of the shape you will need. So that's the chevron block, this one. Um, and that is the ring block, the basic block. And the chevrons go every other block. The ring blocks go every other block in between that. And at the bottom, you will need your Stargate base, uh, which actually has the best texture, if you ask me. It looks like the portal. A little bit lacking in detail. I mean, I think you could do a bit of better hard work. I'm joking because, of course, Minecraft textures are impossible. So if I go ahead and put that in, we have our portal. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't yet look much like that. And that's probably because it needs to be linked to another portal uh, before it will start working. So the way you do this, first, you need another portal. That might help. So if I just go ahead and jump over here and build another one, uh, really quick for you guys, because otherwise nothing will work. And if you just heard that, that was my phone going, so just ignore that. I'll ignore it too, uh, because obviously this video is more important than my social life. And go ahead and plop this there, and once you put the last block in, boom. So we've got another Stargate portal. So if I go ahead and put down our Stargate controller, if you looked really carefully, I did put up the crafting recipe for this. And when you right click on it, you will probably see something like this, and that's not good. Not entirely sure what's gone wrong, but there's meant to be a bar in the middle which will show you uh, what code you need to put on. So uh, that doesn't really matter because I'm hoping that one over there will work. And what you need to do here is you right click and it will tell you your Stargate address. And that is unique for every single Stargate. So you need to remember that. And that's why I have a book and a quill here. So Q uh, QDQZMBA, if I just go ahead and write that down, Q D, Q, Z, M, D, A, I think, Q, D, Q, Z, M, D, A, I'm just going to hope that's right, Q, D, yep, that looks right, and put in your fuel, you really need to remember this code, because if you forget it, uh, you kind of lost, uh, put in your fuel, which is Nakwadar, uh, kind of a weird name, and you'll find that spawning naturally in this Nakwadar ore, it's rarer than diamond, so you got to be precious about when you want to teleport, you can't really overuse the teleporters, um, and what you have to do, jump over here, uh, let me just have a look at that code again, Q, Q, D, Q, yeah, whatever, and open this. So this one is working, as you can see, because we have an orange thing here and a bar here. And this is your keypad for entering your numbers. So it's kind of confusing and not well designed, as you can see, the Q is actually hiding behind the circle. 
and you need to click them all in. So Q, D, Q, uh-oh, here, here's a test of my memory, Z, M, D, A, so M, D, A. And it's actually quite confusing learning to use that, uh, but you get used to it. Now, I got it wrong, as you can probably tell, and it will make that really awesome noise and it will just fail. So, let's see what I did, Q, Z, M, I did actually put it in right, so I must have got it, Z, M, B, A, see? I wrote it down wrong twice, so let's go ahead and do that again. Uh, this always happens, there's no chance of you actually getting it right. QDQ uh, on the first time, Z, M, B, A. And go ahead and click that. And again, we get another failure because this one doesn't have any fuel. So if I go ahead and grab some more of that, uh, I did, of course, do these both uh, wrong on purpose, of course, just to show you guys what will happen. And if we go ahead, final time, this should work. Q, M, B, A. QDQ, I forgot the D, so luckily there is a backspace, QDQ, Z, I forgot the Z, Z, M, B, A, there we go, so if we go ahead and click that and now, it's working, so I'll just stand back and let you watch this. Boom. So that was actually really awesome. That will happen when you finally get them linking. And I just love it when the portal splashes out at you. And if you were alive, if you weren't in creative mode then, that would have killed you and any pigs or creepers or anything. And if you go over here, as you can see, this one is linked as well. So they are both hopefully working. And if I go ahead and jump through this one, boom, we're over here. It's actually really nice. I love how instant it is, it's like with a nether portal or an end portal or say building terrain or something like that. Uh, but with this one, nope, it's nice and instant. So the good thing about these portals, the amazing thing about these portals, is that they will actually work interdimensional, which kind of sounds weird, uh, but this will work into the end. So you could have one uh, from the overworld that will link you to the nether, and then one in the nether which will link you to the end, and you can just fly about from world to nether to end or whatever uh, as many times as you want so there's not much more I can say about this other than the fuel which is this is the boring part the technical part as you can see this one's still got 94 fuel now if we jump down here this one is down onto 90 no 62 so this bar here will actually show how much fuel is being used I'm not entirely sure because the, the thread really doesn't say much about this at all it's kind of confusing um, that's still on 62 I'm not entirely sure how the fuel works but basically if you power it up or power it down it will use fuel and if you just leave it going for ages it will use fuel so obviously it's only been going about 20 seconds and it's already gone down too so you don't really want to put fuel in that and then go into the end and then try and get back and it's run out of fuel uh, because that would not go well now another nice thing is if i go ahead and actually spawn a pig and hit it in uh -huh. if you can get them to wandering good on you I find, boom, there we go, just hit it in, and it it completely just glitched then. I think it must have come out here and then gone straight back in. So let's just go ahead and try that again. Boom, there he is. He kind of came out, he must be wandering back in every time. Uh, so, oh, what are they doing? It's going mad, but this, this is actually some sort of good game. You can make some sort of game of tennis going like this. Um, just multiplying pigs flying everywhere. It's actually really cool. So one thing I must warn you about, and the, probably the last thing I'm going to say is that if they're open, really just don't go and break them. Because the best thing to do is just right click that and click on that. If you click on the little sun, it will deactivate. If you just click on it, not a good idea because if I fly over here, I can show you my house I built earlier for this video. Um, you can see there's not much left of it. Because if you click on it, it will just go ahead and explode. So I'm just going to click on it and show you what happens. Boom, huge instant explosion, and there goes my other house. So obviously I'm not going to be making this video again if anything's gone wrong. It's also managed to take out this star portal over here. As you can see, this one hasn't exploded. It's just been exploded. -ed 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 -ed. So that was the Stargate mod. I can't really think of much else to show you. It's really awesome if you're one of those people who wants to get around quickly, doesn't like walking for ages. I mean, there are loads of uses for this. You could have one in your cave, one in your house, you could get your mine extra super quickly. 
the limits are endless. There are just loads of things you can do. So thanks for watching, guys. Control, signing out.